Hello and welcome back to Caves of God. We are, um, well, we could do some more ruin diving, but I do wonder if it might be time to uh, make our way over to the uh, to Bethesda Sousa. Probably not, let's be honest. It's probably not time for Bethesda Sousa. It's a little early, but um, I don't know. We're level 20. <clears throat> our AV is 14. So, you know... I'm good with all that. We have a plaster for chem set, a chem vest. Can't wear it though. Um, I would like to sell some stuff. You know what I'd like to do actually? Let's let's go to the six day stilt. Probably I should have done this in the last episode. I think I already went to the stilt or came back from the stilt even. Um, I'm pretty sure I have a jeweler there. And I'd like to go visit them and sell a bunch of her stuff for trade goods. Let's hope that I don't get lost along the way. Okay, the the worst is behind us. Oh, we didn't get lost at all. Very nice. I should have made a note of where our jeweler is. Um, not here. I don't know why it's making a checkpoint now. Okay. Let me see. Jeweler? No. Gutsmonger, jeweler, haberdasher, and a chef. I should uh, check our, sh our chef out, actually, and um, buy some ingredients. What do you got? Got some congealed love. I'll definitely take that. Uh, I'll take all of these, actually. We got some pickles. Oh, spark tick plasma. That's good. Um, what do we need? I guess we need honey. Do I have some honey? Oh, I got an albino art, uh, ape heart, apparently. Which is quite nice. Uh, bu -bu 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 what? Oh, let's sell this sower seed. Do we have honey? We don't. We don't seem to have a lot of water either. I don't know where all of our water is. But it's certainly not in any of our water. I guess it doesn't display water skins with water. That wouldn't make too much sense now, would it? Um, we do need some honey. There's some honey there. Um, so we can we can make our, our cool porridge. Uh, we could buy some law petals. I think I'm okay with the rest of this stuff. Let's buy all of that. Oh, 69 drent. Nice. Um, let me see. Is there anything I can sell before I give up 69 drams? Uh, lacquered chain gun. I should give that to the Mechanimus, but I, I don't want to necessarily give up all of our tech. I might just want to re- or disassemble it. Gives us some pretty good bits, I will say. Um, carbide longsword. Oh my god. Apparently Discord was doing a thing. Maybe my, um, internet's bad right now. Let's sell a couple of chem cells. These are all drained, so this is fine. There we go. All right, let's uh, let's find our jeweler. No jeweler. I know we have a jeweler. It's not my that's not my imagination, right? We could buy some witchwood bark and some salve injectors. That would be a good idea. We could also buy a small muddy tube. We are very quickly running through our um, money here. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That couldn't work out better. Three sixty-seven. 343 a uh, 7 367.5 i'm off by like 0.1 of a dram that trade couldn't work out better that's amazing um yeah let's go ahead and, and do that we'll get ourselves i you know i'd love to make use of the chem vest but i can't wear it so forgive me for selling it jeweler i thought we had a jeweler oh we do have a jeweler they're they're sleeping on the screen wake them up Let's trade. So you've got some agate gemstones and some topaz gemstone. Um, we'll sell this, the elastian skin suit. Um, I've, I think I've blown through most of my trade goods, but we'll sell um, all of our chem cells, the empty ones anyway. Fermented, no, we won't sell it. Don't think I have anything here I can sell. Maybe the raw boar meat, but like that's not really money. 
That's not money. That's not very cash money of you. We'll sell the gaslight chisel. And we could sell one more thing. I guess I'll sell the chain gun. Nah, I'm going to keep the chain gun. Is there anything else? I guess we could just like do this for money. Um, 61 drams. Uh, I would like to have a little bit more money than this. So we'll sell a couple more chem cells. Yeah, like the very low ones is good. I need to get some more chem cells apparently. So let's go ahead and do... Well, yeah, we'll do this because there's no point in keeping those. I could recharge them, but I don't really want to do that necessarily. And I guess, yeah, we're going to do one more ruin dive um, before we, uh, you know, make peace with Bethesda Sousa. I say make peace, but it is it is just war. It, it is just warfare. Nakash? Nakesh, we have found Nakesh. Anything? Well, okay, apparently Discord is really struggling right now. What is that on the ground? It's a pink sword. Oh, we're we're fighting a mimic. We're currently in in a combat with a mimic. What am I? F what what is that on the ground? Slimy caca 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 icy brand. That's not mine, is it? Plus two to hit. Freezing when powered. This weapon deals an additional 68 cold damage on hit. That seems like a really good sword. I'll just go ahead and deal with this um, mimic. Swing, swing, grabbed by mimic. Swing, swing, dead. Okay. Um, what is our current penetration on our weapon? 10. Um, it's kind of a downgrade, I won't lie. It's a little bit of a downgrade. And the, and the um, salt hopper mandibles are also 10. So I'm not sure what's up with this cool sword, but it's not really worth... Oh, and it's 9. It's not too much of a downgrade. 1d6 versus 1d10 versus 1d10 um but also this icy brand uh comes with an extra 1d8 or not even 1d8 comes with an extra six to eight cold damage also has plus two to hit seems like a good weapon i i wouldn't mind uh swapping to it but i i need a better energy source but either way i mean that's pretty cool i don't know if i found that here but are we going to get lost? Yes, we are. You're lost, but you discovered Tagarook, a paragon. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, we have a Dromad Caravan. What was it? Oh. We got some amoebas. Uh, giant amoeba pseudopod. Got some more books. More books. It's funny we haven't made a note of the Dromad Caravan yet. I guess we were never going to. I, maybe we did, and it uh, some of these, some of those pop-ups are, are maybe suppressed into the uh, the chat relegated i guess um all right let's um i would like to buy this small mossy tube but i am kind of running out of money uh we could sell the lacquer chain gun i keep like coming to terms with that you know what i'm not gonna sell that because um i am running out of energy so it would be good to have a backup weapon So I'm just going to sell this wine, I suppose. And we'll do it for money. Um, let's have a look at some of these tubes. Rubber gum injector. Blaze injector. That's always nice to have. Compass bracelet. We'll equip that. All right. 
Okay, so um, we're headed off to the ruins. We're lost. Oh, we have a legendary idol. Uh, loved by the Neftali tribe and robots. Hated by oozes. I don't mind making enemies to oozes because I'm already enemies to oozes. Um, we've got some turrets over here. We'll go ahead and um, get in our dueling stance. Swipe. Swing. I have to add the little swing myself because, you know, well, we can't have everything, you know. Swing. Oh, we dismembered it. <laughs> Uh, I guess we did knock its weapon out of its hand. Maybe we cut it off. Oh, it's somehow, I guess the weapon ended up in the next screen. Oh, uh, that would be, uh, I, um, I actually put in my, um, my idea in the Caves of Code Discord for, like, having, uh, dismembering or, like, uh, disarming, um, weapons be animated. I'm kind of worried that that idol just died. Okay, no, it's okay. Um... Do we have enough? Oh, we don't have any skill points. I would really like to get Carbide Chef. Oh, we do have Carbide Chef. I just don't have... Um, I don't have... I'm not inspired right now. Uh, loved by robots. Hated by oozes. We can't leave. Oh, yeah, we're, we're lost. Right. Our light is pretty good. You recognize the area. Do I recognize that statue? Have I seen that statue? There's some wine in here. Collect that wine. Let's leave. Oh, we can't leave. Now we can. Okay, ruins. Uh, I think we've been to this ruin, but we're going to check it out anyway. Oh, we've got a bat. Oh, God, the bat. The saps are such a pain in the butt. You're famished. Okay, let's uh, cook a meal. I hear a turret. There it is, a chain gun. Do I still have some... Uh, slugs yeah i have tons of slugs so um we're we're not in need of ammo if i should i have to switch to the chain gun um did i disarm them yeah i did i'm i'm really loving this build i know I, i've been saying that a lot but like for real oh god look at that chain in placement okay i'm um, just gonna wait for a second and then we're gonna swipe twing and we got ourselves another chain laser turret. There is another laser turret behind it, so I'm going to wait for swipe to come off before before I kill it, and then use swipe to wing. Did we disarm it? Yeah, we did. What do we got here? Salty oily jacked laser rifle. I was talking to Nerf about um, this whole setup, and um, they were telling me you can actually, like, semi exploit uh cud and the uh, the fact that turrets require um energy based weaponry to be jacked in order for them to function properly which is pretty funny i i kind of get why that is like that because otherwise they wouldn't be able to power the uh they wouldn't be able to power the gun with their onboard like energy right like it kind of makes sense because technically the energy is like equipped on their quotation marks body, right? Um, there's a moth over there. That's not good. So we'll just wait behind this tree. I don't know why the those guys decided to walk through the the the, the acid. Where is this um moth? I know the moth is here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. Okay, do we, we we have some more chem cells because I've already gotten some from turrets. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I don't mean to like interrupt myself and like potentially useful information with actual gameplay. That's my bad. Um, but 
you can exploit the game by turning a energy based weapon into a turret and then it automatically gives it the jacked mod so if you don't have like for instance you don't have the ability to modify a weapon or for instance maybe you have a very very valuable weapon oh god seed sowers and it's a bit too expensive to um, modify it yourself with um with jacked then you could potentially turn it into a turret at uh, a cheaper cost and it will give it the jacked modification but uh you know as with all uh, quotation marks exploitations in cud i i do um caution one Oh, a jewel encrusted Issachar rifle. Yeah, let's take that. I'm not going to disassemble that. I do caution you to, uh, you know, take take the take these things with a grain of salt, I guess. Like, um, yeah, I mean, they may be nerfed, but I, I feel like, you know, playing Caves of Cud means you, you, you kind of have to uh, nerf yourself. You know, you have to... Um, moderate yourself in terms of how much you are willing to uh exploit the game because there's it's it's really easy if you know what you're doing to make caves of cut just way too easy you know like it the game is challenging it's very difficult if you're playing it quotation marks properly or if you're playing it you know I, 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 like in theory the way it's meant to be played i don't i really agree with that philosophy and i think it is a philosophy I, you know game philosophy let's Let's really break it break it down. Let's let's uh, talk about it. Like, and I do talk about it a lot. It's something that comes up probably in every single one of my Caves of Cud runs. Is like, what is what does it mean to play Caves of Cud optimally? Um, I have been become a little bit less apologetic about like the whole idea of playing Caves of Cud optimally. Um, I used to be very apologetic about it. I used to you know um worry about like how i was going to be perceived when i cheat quotation marks cheat what does it mean to cheat in caves of cud you know um it can mean a lot of different things like it it's it really it's up to you and your interpretation like i um i think that it's you know it is important that some things be nerfed but for the most part i think it's great that caves of cut can be pl played so broadly with so many different um approaches that i kind of you know would prefer that nothing be nerfed and then the player just kind of moderates themselves that being said there are certain things that are just like genuinely game breaking right if you really like i know i'm talking a little bit vaguely right now because there's so many examples of this that it would be hard to like list them um, but if you want an example, I mean, the classic one uh, would be like selling lava, for instance. Uh, me and Nerf were talking about this on uh, stream the other day, but it's like you can you could, uh, you know, y yeah, you could sell lava. Sure, you could. Why not? But then again, um, why not just proselytize a merchant? Just like clone a merchant whatever merchant that you need several thousand times um have an infinite number of them that all have weird legendary gear um proselytize all of them so that they all uh, give you their stuff for free and then uh, yeah i mean break caves of cud over your knee absolutely break it over your knee it's it's not hard to do that we got a saw hander okay thank god we put it in its place. I don't want to fight the livid creeper. I want to fight the goat folk that are a much more dangerous threat. Dangerous and immediate threat. Oh, God. Stop fighting the livid creeper. Ugh. Swipe. You disarmed them. Cool. Dismembered them. <laughs> Did I grab all their stuff? Disassemble the burnt stuff. Uh, you disassemble the right support strut. Nice. 
uh, anyway, all of this to really say, like, oh, I love a forked horn helm. Yes. Yes, please. Um, that I really don't, I think it's such a totally, totally pointless dialogue, even. I'm not even going to say argument because art to, to, um, give it the, the, the argument descriptor would be to, um, lend credence to to such a, a like pathetically soft dialogue like it really is nothing it's a nothing dialogue like the idea of playing caves of cud um optimally like you know when i really think about it <clears throat> hold on hydraulic turbine sealed what does that mean a loud buzz is emitted the unauthorized glyph flash is on display when I really think about it, I mean, like, even my fast and loose approach is a good way of playing Caves of Cut. I mean, like, you can you can play slow and methodical, but I honestly don't even think I should uh, worry about how quickly I play through it. Because, like, you know, then you could also, like, have a debate about, like, well, I mean, but I, am I not role-playing at the end of the day? I am on role play mode, you know, for instance. What a like what does it matter? Uh my character is not careful. But you know like probably where me and uh the the gamer crowd community, if you could um call it that. I think it's a weird thing to call it the gamer community because I've never I, I've never met a, a, a group of people less, like, cooperative and commune. You know what I mean? Like, gamers as a whole are really <clears throat> very uh, confrontational and abrasive. You know, we, we really... I even hesitate to say we, to be honest. But, um, like, I just think that pretty much anything that most gamers are going to debate is just like kind of pointless like where does where does it like where where would we begin and end we could talk about um ethics you know in games in video games in general like well uh i don't i never pay for a game at full price well okay sure if you want i mean i would argue um i I'm, i can only pay for what i can afford and therefore certain games I cannot afford at full price and some that I can, you know, and it's really just in like what you want to do. Like, I don't think that it's immoral to buy a game on sale. I don't, don't even think it's immoral to pirate a game, but like, never mind that conversation. Um, I think that, you know, it's a case by case situation. If you, if a game is developed by one person and is like hoping to continue developing then it would be the right thing to do it would be a good thing to do at the very least to help them achieve that if you're enjoying something then i definitely think that um paying like the individuals never mind a company but the individuals to can you know for that is good but like what am i even talking about like it doesn't even matter That's, none, of, none of this matters none of it matters you know it don't matter. None of this matters. It just, like, I try and do what I can do, and uh, that's really all you can do. It's and what a nothing statement. I try, just try and be a good person and stop. You know, don't. If you have the temptation to to um, have an argument with someone on the internet, maybe stop. Because there truly is a pointless thing. None of this matters. It's all good. Join the join, join the freehold pa uh, Patreon. You know, like that's what I do. I'll pirate um, a Nintendo game. I, I will do so. You know, with with pride. I'm not going to teach you how, because then my channel will be destroyed. And you know, that's morality for you, I suppose. Uh, but like. Uh, I would then, you know, take the money I save on a uh, hundred dollar Nintendo game and throw it at Freehold for making my favorite game of all time. 
We might die here. This isn't good. We're going to go ahead and Sleepy Gas and uh, Stunning Force. And I'm going to hit the bricks. Wow, we keep finding... I keep looking at that carbide dagger and saying, wouldn't it be cool if that carbide dagger wasn't broken? Anyway. I get... I, I, I Like, more and more, I get a little bit... Like... I won't say snippy or even snarky. But, like, I, I definitely question the entire dialogue of, like, when someone's like, oh, you didn't do X thing, or, um, you know. Yeah, to be, uh, like, I, I've said this before, but honestly, people are pretty cordial in my, uh, my comments, so I don't, it's kind of a nothing di di dialogue in the first place, but, like, I don't know, it still, it still, uh, occurs to me occasionally. Um, this is maybe a short episode, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it here and I'll continue uh, we're gonna, I'm going to end the whole debate about playing optimally by submerging myself in acid for absolutely no reason um, And we'll end the episode there and we'll continue doing a little bit of ruin diving on the next episode Although we pretty much have everything we need. Why don't we go ahead and examine our, our, our artifacts? We have a combustion cell love me a combustion cell I have electrified carbide hammer with a chem cell. I'll go ahead and remove the chem cell. Gaslight Chris, another one, huh? With a chem cell. I'll remove that. It's not, it's almost empty, but whatever. Um, and what, what do we have here? Acid gas grenades. Love that for me. What do we have in clothes? Nothing. All right, let's, let's call it there. Uh, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.